Hey there! In this power-up, I will be showing you how to use conditional styling. In Composer Pro, you can use formulas in the styling properties, similar to using them in the component properties. Here I have an example app showing a list of courses and a button to filter to show only the completed ones. I have a page variable completed, which is true or false depending on if the button is selected. The variable value changes when the button is pressed, as we can see in the logic canvas. The list of courses is a list of objects with schema is text type name and a true or false type completed. In this example, I will not be adding filtering logic to the repeating list, I will only show you the styling tips. In our app, I'd like to visually indicate if the filter is selected with the styling of the button, and to change the background of the list items so that every other item has a slightly grey background. Currently, the button is light blue with dark blue text. When the button is tapped and the filter is selected, I'd like the button to have reverse colors with dark blue background and light blue text. We can do this with conditional styling. Looking at the styling properties of the completed button, we can find the background color property. By default, this property allows us to pick a color from a color map. Clicking on the icon to the left, we can change the binding of the background color. Here we have many options to choose from, but we'll select formula. Clicking on the value, we can open the formula editor for the color. Ours would look something like this. The first color code is a dark blue one, and the second is a light blue one. If the completed button is clicked on, and the page variable completed becomes true, the background color is dark blue, and in other cases it is light blue. As this is a color component, make sure that the output of the formula will be a color code. Note that you can also add theme variables to the formula, if you have defined specific colors in your app theme. We'll want to change the text color as well, to be light blue or dark blue, opposite of the background color. Let's find the text color styling property of the completed button, again change the binding to a formula, and add the correct formula. The formula is similar to the background color, but with the opposite color order. Moving on to styling the list, we can see that the list contains of a container with a paragraph inside it, showing the name of the course. We'll want to modify the container background to make every other item have a grey background. We can do this by checking if the item's index is even or odd. Let's find the background color style property of the container, and change its binding to a formula. We'll use the formula functions index of and is even. Since we're styling a component with repeat with in use, we can use the variable current to check its index in the original list. Then is even returns a true or false that we can use to determine the color of the background. All items with an even index get the light gray color background, while odd index items get the white background. And there we go. Looking at the preview, we can see that when we click on the button and therefore change the value of the page variable completed, the styling of the button changes as well, according to the formula we added. The list is also styled a bit more clearly, with every other list item having a different background color. I hope you enjoyed this power-up, and let's meet again soon!